Hello guys, it's Tails Jeffer here and today I will show you how to make a microfoil paper. This is the first of three parts and in this video I will show you how to import a microfoil to your Cinema 4D. The program you need for this is Mineways. The download link to Mineways is in the link description. Uh, when you download up Mineways you will get a WinRAR file with some files in it. I'll show you those files. Um, an index which is important. The program itself. Um, some other things you don't need and some texture packs this is the normal one another one I have a lot of these uh, texture packs what you have to do is uh, open Mineways uh, this will appear, this is the program go to your file and you will have some options um, what you have to do is open the world and you will see all of your Minecraft worlds uh, I will choose Imperial City for now, not made by me. It's loading now. Uh, this it. And this is my world. Uh, it's loading. So what you have to do now is choose um, which part of the world you have in your Cinema 4D. I will choose this little island here. And um, select the island something else you selected okay um, then go to your file and if you want you can choose uh, another terrain if you don't want you can uh, go straight on to the export but I will choose the terrain for now um, you have to search for the place where the terrain is located I have it here in my documents um, I'll do this one now I've selected a new terrain. Export for rendering. Uh, export, what do you want to export it? I do it here. Uh, and call it something. Tutorial set. Uh, this is something you don't really need. Just okay. Now it's exporting. It's done. You can close this, go to your Cinema 4D, um, open, and then you have to search for your thing. And these are all the files that are created with MindWaves. If you, this file is what you need, the object document, scale with 1000, press OK. And this is my island. As you can see it doesn't have any textures so what you have to do is select all of your um, objects click on texture load image and then go to here and choose the RGBA um, picture what you do is as you can see it loads the textures now click on none turn off your spectacular as you can see when I render it now, the flowers don't. Uh, the flowers do have this white uh, thing. That's not what you want. So you have to um, select alpha, go to your alpha, click load image again on your texture, and then select RGBA again. As you can see, it's gone now. Click none. And now the white parts are away. If it's good, it's the same thing with water. Water? Uh, I don't know. But yeah, now uh, our world is created. So, yeah. So, this was part one of the tutorial. I'm sorry for my bad English. But I will see you guys in part two.